who here would abolish their private health insurance in favor of a government-run plan? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Kamala Harris has been a vocal supporter of Medicare for All, co-sponsoring the bill with Senator Bernie Sanders in 2017 when she was a senator, and then campaigning on the platform in 2019. On the campaign trail, she called for the end to private insurance and more. Understanding that access to affordable health care should not be a privilege, it should be a right. Raise your hand if, gover if your government plan would provide coverage for undocumented immigrants. Okay. You as the consumer can choose under my Medicare for All plan to have a public plan, a government-sponsored plan, or a private plan. We haven't gotten answers today, but in the past, Harris has made her thoughts on the matter quite clear. She's advocated for Medicare for All with a 10-year phase-in period and allowing private insurers to continue if they operate with Medicare plans. Now, healthcare insurance finance experts tell Fox Business that a plan like she advocated for in 2019 would significantly add to the nation's debt, costing $44 trillion, and that the 2019 plan would put everyone in this country on Medicare. How important is it to your health care plan to get rid of private insurance companies? The bottom line and the most important is that everyone have access to health care. That is the goal. I believe it will totally eliminate private insurance. Um, so for people out there who like their insurance, well, they don't get to keep it. Let's eliminate all of that. Let's move on.